In this clip, we will look at the physical geography that explains why we have leap years in our calendar. Now we all know that Earth orbits the Sun or goes round it in about 365 days. So if we divide this, this path of Earth around the Sun or its orbit in 365 parts and then tag each part with a day in the calendar, then each date will correspond to a specific position in the Earth's orbit. And we can visualize this by imagining the Earth to be a train which is going round the Sun and the 365 points or 365 days that we uh, thought of are its stations. And then its schedule might look something like this. That there is a station called as the Earth Day. And the train arrives there on 22nd of April. There is celebration going on that station all the time. We just happen to arrive there on 22nd April. It takes us about a day to pass through that station. So we get to be a part of the celebration that is going on. Say there is another station called Galileo Galilei. His birthday is getting celebrated there all the time, but we just arrive there on 15th of February, pass through the station in a day, so we get to be part of that celebration for that day. Now this whole thing sounds like a great concept, but there is a problem. And the problem is, the train is always late. And this is because it does not complete the round trip in 365 days but in 365 days and 5 hours 49 minutes. So it leaves a station called New Year's Day on time. Then it will return there 6 hours late. Naturally, it would start from there 6 hours late and therefore the next trip will, will be 12 hours late. Now these round trips are called as years say year 2000 or trip number 2000. It was late by 6 hours. In trip number 2001, it will be late by 12 hours and 2003, it will be late by 18 hours, 24 hours, 30 hours and so on. So this tardiness keeps on getting accumulated year after year. Now, some might argue that why should we be worried about uh, this delay? Uh, can't we just live with it? Does it really matter whether Earth is reaching a point on time or it is late? Well, every point on Earth's orbit corresponds to a certain season. And therefore, we have associated these dates with seasons. So say, uh, here is the seasonal cycle in Northern Hemisphere. So this part is the summer, this part is the winter. And in the middle of June sometime, we reach the peak of summer. Now, if Earth starts coming late every year, we will not reach that peak of summer in June, but we will have to wait till, say, the middle of July to reach that peak. And then uh, it will be middle of August or September or October. And eventually, it will be the middle of December when we get the brunt of the summer the entire cycle of seasons will be reversed. This will happen every 750 years. And therefore, our calendar will be rendered worthless. We will never be able to look at a date and say, well, it's going to be summer then. We will have to ask, well, what's the year? Because it's going to be different every year. So our entire cycle of seasons and the calendar will keep on shifting all the time. This is not an acceptable situation, so we'll have to make some correction somewhere. Now what can we do? We can't make the Earth go around faster, so we'll have to tweak its schedule and make some correction. Say something like this. Suppose there is, or there is a station called 1st of March, and the Earth is supposed to reach there on 1st of March. But one year it gets 6 hours late, then 12 hours late, then 18 hours, 24 hours late. It's almost a day late. Then what do we do? We say it is on time by inserting one extra day, by allowing the earth one extra day to catch up with the schedule. So this extra day 
we allow the earth every four years because that is when the delay uh, accumulates to 24 hours and that extra day is called 29th of February. So every four years we have that day the earth catches up and starts afresh on time. That is called as the leap year. It happens every four years.